for the last couple months, um, I've really been going through a lot. A lot has been changing. Um, I started a few months ago, really called by God while I was on the West Coast to climb some sort of a mountain or big giant hill, get to the top and go through the book of Jude verse by verse over 10 days. Um, and that was very uh, difficult for me. Um, I'm, I don't work out. I, 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 I mean, not, I, I'm an active person, but I definitely wouldn't say I'm an athlete or I, I work out on a regular basis. Um, and then at the end of that, um, I pulled my ACL and my knee. And uh, the next thing I know, I'm on, I'm on a cane and I was in worse shape. And I, it was in those moments that I, I realized that I had to make life changes. Um, also felt called by God to continue through the book of Joshua, verse by verse, to really prepare God's people to understand what it means to be a part of the army of the living God. To be a part of that army means you have to follow directions from the king himself. And understanding those directions often means it's it's strange and it doesn't make sense. The world says we should do one thing, but the Bible says we should do something else. And it's very important that we begin to see, well, what are those things? What are the benefits of being obedient to those things? Big giant fishes jumped out of there. So what is, you know, what does all that mean? And how can we be obedient to that? So I, I committed to go through the book of Joshua verse by verse, uh, which will take three to four years. While we are understanding what it is we are to do, um, following these instructions from God to be able to sustain a time of tribulation or sustain a time of trouble, or just simply be prepared for a moment of an attack from some sort of evil person in this world, uh, just some sort of personal attack, just self-defense situation. Um, I wanted to be prepared physically. So I set out to, while I was going through the book of Joshua, to be going through some major uh, physical things. So incorporated in that is working out pretty much every single day, sometimes twice a day, getting to the gym, getting out, taking walks, lots of hikes, that, that sort of thing. Uh, but in addition to that, I, I also have incorporated jujitsu, um, as well as kind of a street fighting. Uh, I don't even know what they call it. I think it's just evolution of self-defense, more street fighting, how to real fighting scenarios, not set up for uh, tournaments, but set up for a real life scenario. And that's been the most challenging thing I've ever done in my life. Um, I'm working harder than I ever have in my life. Um, I'm, I, I worked to the point last week where I threw up. Uh, earlier this week, I tweaked my neck. I, I felt like my head got stretched. I think I'm an inch taller. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm really enduring a lot of, of physical strain, but what's taking place, you know, it, it is my body is changing. Um, I, I am so much stronger now than I was six weeks ago. Uh, my goal at 51 is to be stronger at 60 than I was at 40 and to be stronger at 70 than I was at 30. And a lot of people think, well, that's crazy. But the only way I can achieve that is I have to go through this path now. And I'm encouraging you guys to do that same thing. Uh, but I also realize that most things, you know, in life, uh, there's self-defense defense situation require firearms as well. So starting May 1st, I'll be doing force on force training uh, with Airsoft uh, through an amazing organization called Stratagos International. Um, and I'm gonna be refilming all that as well. So um, everything that I'm talking about, by the way, I'm gonna put the links below. Uh, if you're around here, you're obviously welcome to join me. Uh, if you live somewhere else, I just encourage you to find things like this. Uh, to make you physically stronger, more be able to handle a hand-to-hand -hand combat situation, be able to handle a force-on-force -force firearm situation. Um, because the force-on-force, -force, you know, you, I learn more by a day of force-on-force -force training than I would in a thousand hours of shooting a paper target. Because when that gun turns and it's firing back at you, everything changes and, and your movements and what they do is they film you as well and they tell you what you're doing wrong and how to adjust. Um, it's really a phenomenal training. Um, and so I just kind of want to 
carry you along with me on this and encourage you to do similar things. Um, but you know, something that, you know, I'm going to go back to my knee for a little bit is it didn't hurt at all. Like it's, it's 99.9%. .9%. Every now and then I do something where I'm like, oh yeah, there, that, that thing's there still. Uh, but it's about 99.9%. .9%. The things I'm doing in jujitsu with my knees, you know, I couldn't have even dreamt of doing a month ago uh, because of tweaking my ACL. And I really want to give a lot of the credibility to my healing and my ability to endure through the hard things um, to that drink I'm drinking that my friend made, that ES Power drink. Um, it's, you know, made with Trinidad scorpion peppers and it's, it's called ES yes because you just drink it every Sunday. Um, man, I put one of those down once a week and it changes my physio physiology um, a lot. Like I'm, I'm happier, I'm more motivated, I'm sleeping better, I'm healing faster. Um, you know, I just, I believe in what that thing is because I've seen it transform my body combined with all these other things I'm doing. And, and finally, the thing that's really probably helped me the most um, is meeting with a good friend of mine who's um, an endurance coach. He really is just in the business of training people to endure hard things. Um, and really the two cents that he kind of gave me through a long conversation was to look at all of this not in a negative, like, well, I don't, I want to do this because I don't want my heart to be bad, or I want to do this because I don't want to, you know, I want to, I don't want to be able to be, you know, out of shape when I'm 60. Uh, you know, I don't want to get fat. I don't, you know, not that, but to look at it like more in a positive, like, well, I'm going to be so strong when I'm 60. You know, I'm going to be able to defend my family when I'm 70. You know, I'm going to be able to endure a time of tribulation uh, because of what I'm physically doing to my body. It's the way you're looking at it and, and it changes everything because, you know, when I knew I was going into that jujitsu class, I was trying to get my knee prepared. So I was just working it where, you know, but knowing that it was the class that was going to lead me to ultimately being able to defend my family and myself better, that in order to prepare for that thing, I had to strengthen my knee and I was just constantly working out, working out and working out my legs just to try to get that thing back and, and doing the exercises that were strange that people said, well, in order to heal your ACL, you got to do this thing. So, you know, I, and all those things ultimately is so I could be ready as I go through the book of Joshua verse by verse for that day when God says, now put on your full armor and prepare for battle, I am spiritually and physically ready for that thing. And that's what this is all about for me. So I just wanna kinda of keep you updated um, on, on this path, because as I go through the book of Joshua, I don't wanna keep saying, well, here's what I'm doing, you know? So I just wanna, <laughs> take a moment and really kind of give you the detail and really see, you know, this is, I'm changing, things are changing for me. You know, and the biggest thing I saw, you know, when I, I like to kayak quite a bit and there's a, there's a lake I kayak around and to do a lap around the lake took me about an hour uh, last summer. Um, and I usually had to stop once or twice to kind of catch my breath. Um, I went in for the first time earlier this week and I did a lap and I cranked that thing out. My kayak was making wakes. I, I, I had it done in 20 minutes, easy. Uh, more than 50% of my time was cut down. Uh, sure, I was tired, but I didn't need to stop. Um, and I'm really, I'm telling you, it's all because of all these things, getting out and, and taking long walks, hiking, uh, working out in the gym, uh, jujitsu, street fighting, uh, this force on force coming up, uh, changing the way I think about my health and fitness by chatting with somebody and have them tell me how I do that thing because I know who I am. I know that I'm lazy. I know that I do anything I can to avoid working out. So I knew I had to change that. Um, and then drinking that ES power drink. It, it just, I'm telling you, if you chow on a bunch of scorpion Trinidad scorpion peppers every week, your body would change like that. So to have that just in a drink and be able to put it down once a week, um, all those things, all motivated by 
going through and learning how to be a warrior in the army of God through the book of Joshua. Um, it's really kind of a beautiful thing. So um, any thoughts or insight on any of that, definitely put it below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. Feel called to support this channel with Patreon. That link is also below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns. Thank you.